Hey YouTube, a lot of people have been wondering how to add IPTV channels, IPTV live channels to your Meg 254, 255, 250 box. It's not hard. The first thing you have to do is Google M3U or M3U8 file playlists online. There are all kinds of them out there. You copy and paste them. How you make an M3U playlist there are tutorials on that right here on YouTube. Just Google them. It's not hard to figure out. Once you get those files saved on your computer in the M3U file format, you load them onto a USB stick, bring them to your mag STB, insert it, go to your inner portal, and go to home media. When you're in home media, you press OK. Up comes everything in the home media. You'll see there's my USB stick. We press OK and you can see the number of M3U playlists that I've already made from stuff that I found online. Now they're not all working and I'll give you an example but I'm going to show you just how easy it is to add a playlist to your IPTV channel list. We'll select this one. Up comes this message and it says F1, see playlist content. So we want to see what's in this particular file. And there's the channels that we're attempting to add to our IPTV channels on our MAG STB. So we back out of that and go to hit the home button. Now we're going to press OK again, but this time we're going to press F3, the yellow button on the remote. And up comes a message that three channels have been successfully added to our IPTV channels. In order to go and see them, you push the TV button on your remote and up comes the sports or anything that you've already added. There's the three channels that we've just added. You can see that they're not working. If they were working, then it would be in the background just like the FX channel here. But the three that we attempted to add are not working. To the right, that's the string, the thread, the URL, whatever you want to call it. Supposedly it's supposed to work. It's not. I don't know why. I will find out and I will get these successfully added down the road. You're going to encounter this as well. I guarantee it. You want to remove these from your IPTV channel list because they're dead links, they're not working, and they're only going to clutter up your TV. How to do this? Well, you highlight it in your channels, and now you're going to press the F2 button, the green button on your remote, and you highlight it. You highlight all the channels that you want to delete, the dead links, the ones you no longer want. Once you've got them all highlighted, you push the menu button on your remote. On my particular remote, it's the one with the three dots and the three lines on the left side. That will bring up a menu on the right side of the page. You scroll down until you find Delete. You push Delete. It's going to ask for confirmation. Yes, you want to delete those highlighted uh, channels. You push OK and boom, they're gone. Now you push Home button to back out of this. Your IPTV channel list has changed. Of course it has because you originally added those three channels. The links aren't working, but they're still there. Of course, you want to remove them entirely, so you push OK and boom, they are gone. To go to IPTV channels, you just scroll over, push OK, and up come the channels. Is this birthday party Quality varies from high definition to SD to really shitty and uh, it's all hit and miss there's a lot of uh, channels uh, on Espanol uh, that's fine I understand Spanish but there's a lot of English channels with um, Spanish subtitles I'm sure that our uh, Latino friends will quite enjoy some of these you can either scroll on it or you can use the numeric keypad on your remote to directly access the channels you have. Those tools 
it's just that simple. It's not hard at all. One channel that a good number of people would probably be interested in is Santana Sports. They show largely rugger and soccer games. The quality, once again, is not the greatest, but at least you can watch it, and it's all totally free. That's about it, YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, once again, Google is your friend. If you want to know anything about how to make the M3U or M3U8 files, just Google it before doing what I've just shown you how to do. Thanks very much. Have a great day. If you like this video, then please, please press like, and we hope to see you again.